Welcome to Explain, a series of health education programs published by the Patient Education Institute, the leading provider of interactive health education. This video includes general medical information and does not replace the medical advice of your doctor or healthcare provider. If you have questions pertaining to your medical condition, ask your doctor or healthcare provider. Hormonal therapy for breast cancer, tamoxifen, introduction. Breast cancer is the most common type of cancer in women worldwide. Tamoxifen is a type of hormonal therapy that helps prevent or treat breast cancer. This program will help you understand better the benefits and risks of tamoxifen. Cancer and its causes The body is made up of very small cells. Normal cells in the body grow and die in a controlled way. Cancer happens when cells keep dividing and growing without the normal control. Cancer cells may spread to different parts of the body through blood vessels and lymph channels. Cancer treatments are used to kill or control these abnormally growing cells. Cancers in the body are given names depending on where the cancer originates. Cancer that begins in the lung will always be called lung cancer, even if it is spread to another place, such as the liver, bone, or brain. The cause of cancer in a patient cannot usually be specifically determined. Each cell contains hereditary or genetic material called chromosomes. This genetic material controls the growth of the cell. Cancer arises due to changes that happen in this genetic material. When the genetic material in a cell becomes abnormal, it loses its ability to control the growth of the cell. These sudden changes in genetic material can happen for a variety of reasons. They may be inherited from parents. Changes in the genetic material may also happen due to exposure to specific infections, drugs, tobacco, or other factors. Breast cancer Breast cancer can happen in women after puberty and becomes more common as women age. Men can also get breast cancer, but this is rare. Hormones are chemicals in the body that help regulate body functions. For instance, the hormone estrogen helps control menstrual periods in women. Breast cancer is sometimes influenced by hormones. Some patients take medicine that gives them additional hormones. These hormonal medications may also affect breast cancer. Your healthcare provider may ask about your menstrual periods and any hormone medications you may have taken. Early forms of breast cancers have not spread to other parts of the body. Breast x-rays, also known as mammograms, can help find breast cancer in its early stages. Sponsored by the Patient Education Institute. www.patient-education.com Over 5,000 videos and interactive tutorials. Stages of Cancer Once the cancer is found, it is important to determine how much the cancer has grown. It is also important to determine if the cancer has spread to other parts of the body. These two pieces of information help your healthcare provider determine the stage of the cancer. This stage is used to determine the treatment that will be recommended. Breast cancer is carefully analyzed by a pathologist. The pathologist is a healthcare provider who examines a sample of your cancer under a microscope and performs special tests to help determine whether treatment with hormonal medication is recommended. Healthcare providers determine the stage of an individual's cancer. Treatment Surgery helps remove lumps of cancer, but it may not be possible to remove or kill every cancer cell. Cells are very small. One million cells can be the size of a ballpoint on the end of a pen. One million cancer cells would also easily fit within the eye of a common sewing needle. 
Even with the most advanced equipment, cancer cells that cannot be seen or felt may be left behind after surgery. Your health care provider may recommend additional treatments after surgery. These are known as adjuvant treatments. Adjuvant treatments may include further surgery. Adjuvant treatments include radiation therapy, hormonal therapy, chemotherapy, targeted therapy, or biological therapy, also known as immunotherapy. These additional treatments reduce the risk that the cancer may recur, but they do not guarantee it. For this reason, your health care provider will want to continue to follow you in the months and years ahead, even after the adjuvant treatments have ended. Health care providers may use these treatments before surgery or in place of surgery. This depends on the type and stage of cancer. Sometimes these treatments can help prevent breast cancer. If the cancer should recur, additional treatment may be used. Tamoxifen. Tamoxifen reduces the chance of breast cancer coming back. It can also help to prevent breast cancer in high-risk patients. Tamoxifen is a form of hormone treatment. It is also called Nolvidex or Soltamox. Tamoxifen is given in pill or liquid form. Side effects of tamoxifen are usually mild. The most common effect is sudden feelings of sweats, flushing, or warmth, often called hot flashes. These episodes may happen as often as several times a day and usually happen less often over a period of months or years. Tamoxifen will often, but not always, stop the function of the ovaries and may stop a woman's menstrual periods. You should use some method of birth control while taking tamoxifen, even if periods have stopped. Tamoxifen could sometimes upset the stomach the first few days it is taken. This usually goes away even if the medication is continued. Women who take tamoxifen have a slightly higher risk of blood clots. This risk is similar to the risk taken by women on birth control pills or estrogen hormones after menopause. Tamoxifen seems to also increase the risk of strokes and may raise the risk of bleeding. See your health care provider or get emergency help immediately if you have signs of a stroke. Signs of a stroke include slurred speech, loss of coordination, weakness or numbness in an arm or leg, eyesight changes, severe headache. There are slightly higher risks of cancer of the uterus or liver in women who are taking or have taken tamoxifen, but this risk is rare. It is still important that women have regular pelvic exams and pap smears unless they have had the uterus removed. Some medications, especially some antidepressants, may decrease the effectiveness of tamoxifen. Check with your health care provider to make sure you are not taking any medication that will make tamoxifen less effective. If you like this video, please like and share. For similar videos, subscribe to our channel. Summary Cancer arises due to changes that happen in the genetic material. When the genetic material in a cell becomes abnormal, it loses its ability to control the growth of the cell. Breast cancer can happen in women after puberty and becomes more common as women age. Special treatment is needed to kill cancer cells that cannot be seen or removed by surgery. Tamoxifen reduces the chances of breast cancer coming back. It can also help prevent breast cancer in high-risk patients. Tamoxifen is safe, but it has some side effects and risks. Knowing about them will help you detect and treat them early if they happen. Thank you for using Explain.